Hey, hey, what's up Garmin fans? I'm Kevin, your host here at Garmin's training video series. Today, we're kicking it into gear and talking specifically to all of you off-road trail riders out there. Some of us ride for fun and some of us are flat out data junkies. No matter which category you fall into, you'll love to hear about the mountain bike dynamics that we've added to our compatible edge cycling computers. And this can only be found with Garmin. Mountain bike dynamics consist of three types of data, grit, flow, and jump metrics. And they're automatically enabled when using the mountain bike profile on a compatible edge device. When we're out mountain biking, we all love the rush from shredding the trails, gapping doubles, or railing a berm. But when your ride is over, it's hard to retell those stories. Well, with grit, flow, and jump metrics, you'll be able to relive those memories with your friends. So let's break down the difference between grit, flow, and jump metrics, and how they can help add more enjoyment, competition, and fun to your ride. We all have those trails that push our limits, but how do some trails compare to others? Well, let me introduce you to grit. Grit will provide you a score based on the overall difficulty of the ride. Basically, grit is similar to a trail rating. It does this using the grade of the ascent and descent and the angle of turns throughout the ride. The score is based on three levels of difficulty, easy, moderate, or hard. And if two riders ride the same trail, they will receive the same grit score. On screen, you'll see your score and a chart of the difficulty ratings. Use this as a reference for comparing the difficulty of different trails and rides. You can also see your grit scores in Garmin Connect when you sync your edge device. So now you know how difficult a ride is, but how do you know how well you're doing on that ride? Well, our new flow feature tells you how smoothly you descended and how well you maintain your speed while riding the trail. This is based on factors such as elevation, ascent, and descent, the angle of turns throughout the ride, and the frequency of stops. A lower flow score indicates a smoother ride, while a higher score represents a ride with more speed fluctuations or stops. Now you can easily compare yourself to previous rides or friends on the same trail. Now let's talk about the last new feature, jump metrics. We all know a big jump when we see it, but what about all of those jumps no one else sees us hit? Well, we created a way for you to see how many jumps you did, how far you jumped, how fast you were going, and even your hang time. Yep, you heard that right. We just changed a normal ride into a challenge on how many jumps you can find and how hard you can smash them. You'll get an alert on your compatible edge device when a jump is detected and the locations of your jumps. Then a jump score will be available in Garmin Connect once you sync your device. How's that for rad? We believe that you should get the most out of your ride and track all the epic details with the new mountain bike dynamics, grit, flow, and jump metrics. Now you have more tools than ever to help you be quicker on the trails and you can relive those epic moments with your friends after the ride. Put your enjoyment first with Garmin Mountain Bike Dynamics. Hey, thanks for taking the time to learn more about Mountain Bike Dynamics. And if you want to know more about it, click on the link in the description of the video. If you enjoyed our video, hit that thumbs up button below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, smash that subscribe button. And folks, make sure to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when we post more videos. For now, that's all I've got. This is Kevin from Garmin, wishing you the best wherever your adventure takes you. And as always, we want to help you beat yesterday.